Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. It is unions, more often than not, that bring hundreds, if not thousands, to the state capitol to rally against what they consider bad public policy. Enough is enough! And it is Democrats, more often than not, who get union endorsements. Now a GOP-sponsored bill would require at least half the people represented by a union actually be union members. One person could claim to represent 10,000. And again, I, I don't think that that is right. Well, the committee debated two dozen union members protested outside. We do not do this job to get rich or to become famous. We do this because we believe in the work. Not included in the 50% membership requirement? Public safety agencies. Public safety unions are more likely to be bipartisan in their political endorsements. Florida Education Association President Joanne McCall pulled no punches when we asked if the bill was union busting. This is definitely political. Um, this is about silencing the voice. We have been politically active. We speak up. We speak out. Its sponsor, though, says it's just good public policy. Are you trying to bust unions? You know, they said that on the House floor last year, and uh, again, this is about transparency, democracy, and accountability. The legislation is expected to clear the House early in the legislative session. Its future in the Senate is cloudy. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Mike Vasilenda.